So, wag ka naman sana puro nood, mag-subscribe ka din. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated. Hi! Hello everyone! My name is Jan and welcome to my channel. Today's vlog is another menstrual cup product review and I'll be reviewing the Marula OS. This is the Marula One Size, or also known as Marula OS. Ang laman ng box ng Marula OS ay yung cup, yung pouch, yung user instruction. So as you can see, yung box ng Marula OS is uh, almost the same as the Marula XL. It has the brand name, the color of the cup, a brief description of the product, protective seal, and a barcode. Yan. Tapos dito nakalagay yung cup. Sa ilalim naman niya, yung user instruction and the breathable pouch that is coordinated to the color of the cup. So this is in midnight. Ito yung color black nila. As you can see, the silicone material of Marula Cup, kapitin siya na alikabok. That's why it is very important to wash and sterilize before use. This is made of high medical grade silicone. This Marula Cup is FDA registered. So, safe siyang gamitin. At uh, yung quality ng cup, it is soft and pliable, pero firm yung silicone material niya. This cup was designed to be one size fits all. That's why it's called Marula One Size. Uh, this cup from the brim to the base, its height is 39 millimeters. From the brim up to the first ladder stem, 50 millimeters yung height niya. 61 millimeters hanggang dito sa pangalawa and hanggang dito sa dulo, it's 72 millimeters. So basically, those bleeders with low cervix height or even the ones with average to high cervix can actually use the Marula One Size. Another special feature of the Marula One Size is the high capacity of the cup. It can actually hold up to 38 milliliters of blood. So, isa to sa mga high capacity cups na available in the market. So, even if you have light, moderate, or heavy flow, pwede mong gamitin itong Marula One Size. You can use the basic cup folds for Marula OS, like the punch down fold, which gives you a smaller insertion point. And I suggest to do it this way. Uh, the fold should be facing downwards, so this part should be gliding easily inside your vag. Another fold that you can do is the C fold, which pops open easily once inserted. This one I haven't tried, but you may also consider if it will work for you, the 7 fold. Now, here is a comparison of Marula OS and Marula XL. As you can see, the length of the cups from the brim up to the tip of the ladder stem, same length lang sila. Now, the rim. Medyo mas malaki lang ng konti yung rim ni Marula XL at 46 mm, whereas the Marula OS is 40 mm. Pero yung body nila, it's actually the same. Pareho lang ng width, no? 46 mm sila both. You'll notice na itong Marula XL, para siyang extended version itong Marula OS. And same lang sila ng shape ng Marula XL dito sa bottom part, tapos meron lang extension itong Marula XL. Yung firmness naman ng cups, yan, let's see. Ito yung body. And then yung rim. It's almost the same. They are both firm. Pero yung feel ko dito sa body ng Merula OS ay I think it's a little softer compared to Merula XL. This is more firm. Itong Marula OS, meron siyang brand name dito sa loob, katulad ng Marula XL. And this cups doesn't have any volume markers, and pero it can fill up to 38 milliliters. Ito naman, up to 50 ml yung kaya niya. Marula cups don't have any air holes sa rim. So, strong yung suction nito. And then, they also don't have any grip rings or anything you can touch dito sa labas ng cup. So, it's just really very smooth. 
Now let me share with you my experience with Merula OS and the things that you might want to consider before getting this cup. One thing that I like about Merula OS is its high capacity. Since I am a heavy bleeder, uh, kailangan ko talaga ng mga high capacity cups for my convenience since I don't need to dump every now and then. This cup can hold up to 38 ml and it has served me for 8 straight hours, half full. Hindi ko ma-maximize yung capacity ng cup na puno siya kasi may cervix sits or dips inside the cup. Unlike with Merula XL na mas na ma-maximize ko siya 10 to 12 hours straight without leakage. Another thing that I like about the Merula OS is yung ladder stem niya mahaba. When my cervix sits the highest at 60 millimeters to 65 Nahihirapan akong abutin yung base ng cup. But because of the ladder stem, I can easily toggle, wiggle down the cup. That way, I can uh, touch the base of the cup. My problem was, ang hirap lang i-break ng seal. Medyo slippery siya kasi wala siyang grip rings sa base. Tapos, ang kailangan ko pang gawin is to really pull it down. And tapos, pag half na ng cup yung nakalabas at abot ko, that's the time na nababreak ko yung seal niya. So, parang for me, it's not that convenient. Compared with the Marula XL, na kapag na-pinch ko na yung base, sumusunod na agad yung body ng cup hanggang dito sa rim. So, it's easier for me to remove the cup and pull it down. Unlike with this, siguro yung shape niya kasi pabilog siya. Tapos, mas narrow yung rim niya compared with the Marula XL na pantay lang. Ito kasi narrow yung rim. So, kapag pininch ko siya, ayan, nagsistay lang siya na ganyan, hindi siya sumusunod. Unless, half na nung cup yung ipipinch. So, that's one thing that you might want to consider. Another consideration in getting a Marula OS is yung firmness ng cup. Based on my experience, on my first day, medyo hindi siya comfortable for me. Because on my first day of period, my cervix sits the lowest at 55 millimeters. If it's pressing against my bladder, I feel like there's a need for me to urinate every now and then. And I'm having difficulty urinating as well. And because it's really firm, feel ko talaga siya. Pero on my second day, kapag tumataas na yung cervix ko at 60 millimeters to 65, hindi ko na siya nararamdaman. Comfortable na ako dun. Pero syempre, for me, mm, I can't consider this as my goldy cup kasi pag first day ko, hindi siya comfortable was the use of a cup na hindi comfortable sa akin all throughout my cycle. That's just my take on it. You might want to consider the sensitivity of your bladder if you wish to get this cup. Yun, masyado siyang firm. If you're experiencing incontinence, yun halimbawa pag umubo ka or pag tumawa ka, nawibibi ka ng konti, with this cup might be too firm for you. You might want to consider getting a softer cup instead. Tapos, wala siyang air holes. So, very strong yung suction nito sa cervix, no? Kaya kapag yun nga, kapag halimbawa removal, uh, unless talagang mabreak mo yung seal, mahihirapan ka na i-remove or i-pull down yung cup. And if you're a first-time cup user at hindi ka pa masyadong marunong gumamit ng menstrual cup, you might want to check your options before getting a marula cup or might as well explore your body, check your cervix height, check your sensitivity, and uh, yun, alamin mo muna kung ito ba talaga yung cup na para sa'yo kasi nga, yung mga considerations mo dito is yung strong suction niya and yung firm material ng cup and also the shape if it would fit you. Now, yung capacity ng cup, that should be the list of your consideration. Ang um, priority natin sa paggamit ng cup is yung comfortability ng paggamit nito. Now, to summarize the things that you might want to consider in Marula OS, if you have a low, average, or high cervix, if you have light, moderate, or heavy flow, if you have a strong pelvic floor muscle, if you do not have a sensitive bladder, then Marula OS is a good cup that you can consider. But if you have a sensitive bladder, or if you're a beginner, if you're a first-time menstrual cup user, 
Mm, you might want to consider your option and look for other cups other than Marula OS. But if you really want to try this cup, you want it for yourself, uh, you can naman as long as it fits your anatomy and your needs. Mahirap lang naman kasi na baka trial and error ka palagi sa cup, eh, medyo may kamahalan siya, so magastos yun. Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier nga pala is itong uh, stem ng cup, pwede mo siyang i-trim. Now, if you feel that it's poking out or it's coming out, uh, pwede mo naman siyang gupitin. Pero, hindi advisable na isagad mo siya hanggang dito or i-remove totally yung stem niya. Kasi it would be difficult for you to remove the cup na. Kasi nga, madulas siya. Wala siyang grip rings dito. At the same time, since pabilog yung shape niya, baka umikot siya sa loob. Rare yon pero may possibility na mangyari. So, please take note of that. Or kung ayaw mo naman na i-cut yung stem, pwede naman na i-tuck in mo na lang siya sa loob. Yan. Kung nakalabas siya or irritating, if you just really wanna save the ladder stem, you can just keep it that way inside you. And that's everything that I can share about the Marula OS. I hope that you find this video informative, helpful, and interesting. At huwag ka naman sana puro nood, mag-subscribe ka din. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated. And uh, if you have any suggestions or any menstrual cups that you want me to try or you want me to review, please just comment down below. And if you have any questions about Marula OS or menstrual cups in general, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And marami salamat for being here. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you're liking the content of my channel. I hope that we can influence more people to consider reusable products because it is good for you, it is good for the environment, and good for your pocket. It's never too late to make the switch. Thank you guys. I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye!